Food is an important part of our daily lives. It provides us the nutrition to help us grow and provide energy we need to get through the day. But why are we wasting so much of it? America produces four times the amount of food needed to feed all of its people, yet 50 million Americans go hungry every year. Surprisingly enough, 40% of the food produced never reaches the mouth of an American. In fact, the average American family tosses about $2,000 worth of food each year, making food the largest component of the solid waste stream in the United States. Food waste has environmental, economic, and social implications. Food in our landfill releases methane, a greenhouse gas even more potent than carbon dioxide. Production costs, labor, and resources are wasted, and millions of Americans suffer from hunger. Here in Washington, 305,000 kids are food insecure. Meanwhile, the average Seattleite tosses one out of every four full grocery bags when they bring it home. Fortunately, Seattle has a goal of composing and recycling 60% of its total waste by 2015. And this July, they're beginning the enforcement of fines on those who exceed 10% of the food waste in their trash bins. Although Seattle plans to target the problem of food waste, we believe the solution starts in your own kitchen. So here are some tips for your kitchen to help reduce waste. Number one, check your fridge temperature and seals. Operating your fridge at the right temperature will make your food last longer, and properly maintained seals keep your fridge the right temperature. Your fridge should be set at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, and your freezer should be set at zero degrees Fahrenheit or lower. Number two, first in, first out. Organize your fridge so that you can easily see what you have in it and when it was bought. Prioritize your foods that expire sooner by placing them towards the front of your fridge. If you store leftovers, package them in a container with the date it was prepared on. Not sure if your leftovers are still okay to eat? Well, there's an app for that. Use the Food Keeper app to determine what foods are still okay to eat. Number three, store food properly in the fridge. Although they are often refrigerated, tomato, basils, potatoes, onions, and avocados all belong on the counter. Contrastingly, oils, nuts, eggs, and natural peanut butter all belong in the fridge. Inside the fridge, different fruits and vegetables prefer different humidity settings. Foods that wilt need a high humidity setting, while foods that rot need a low humidity setting. Some foods, like onions and potatoes, do not get along. Keeping these apart will lengthen their shelf lives. Did you know that some produce can regrow itself? Celery, onions, and garlic are just a few examples of foods that you can plant and regrow in your own home. Number four, understand expiration dates. Stores use a variety of codes and phrases that indicate how long freshness is guaranteed. However, these are not appropriate indicators of how long the food is still good to eat. A good way to check is to use your senses. Use your eyes to look for mold or discoloration. Or one of the best ways is to use your nose and smell if it's spoiled or not. Number five, compost. Composting is now the policy in Seattle. So separate food scraps and deposit them into the designated green compost bin. This small, simple act will help reduce food waste. Keep in mind, if we can reduce food losses by just 15%, we could feed more than 25 million Americans each year. By following these simple guidelines, you play a part in reducing food waste and saving money in the process. Go dogs! For more tips and information, visit www.lovefoodhatewaste.com.